At the end of the day, like, I think we try to follow the seasons really closely. It's important to highlight those farmers and their ingredients and how really delicious and incredible they are. This is Wagyu ribeye. This happens to be the ribeye cap. Uh, the ribeye is like a long muscle, right. and the cap just is a muscle that sits right on top of it, and it's a little bit fattier, a little bit more delicious. Whenever you salt, you really want to salt, like, very, very generously. And you can see it's just, it looks like overkill, but um, most of the salt's going to come off when it hits the grill, you know? So it's really going to lose it, and um, it's not going to be over salt. The theory behind salting the Wagyu is for tenderization, correct? I mean, are you tendering it at all, or is it strictly for flavor? Pretty much for flavor. What I like to do whenever I'm grilling meat, and what I encourage our cooks to do, is, that I think is kind of fun, is basically you want to keep turning it. Um, which is okay, so yeah, you know. So I come from a different school. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So turn it all the time. Totally. You're just letting it like cook a little bit more gently. Look at that. Here we have hikama. Oh yeah. Um, Hikama, of course, is a really delicious root vegetable that uh, you see all over Mexican cuisine. So we've got beautiful, beautiful red leaf lettuce here. So here we've got shiso, mm -hmm. is how a lot of people know it, perilla. Uh, it has, you know, you see this a lot in Japanese cuisine, yes. and it's super, super delicious. Uh, it has like a very anisey flavor um, without being too overwhelming, right. but uh, really enjoyable. And then fresh basil. This is Thai basil. So then what we do, Basically, put this here and we'll sort of fold it up. Okay. And then we can even take a little piece of our beef. Oh, so that's you can see the beef perfect. Really nice. yeah. Yes. So, this is a beef jus. Mm. This is, you know, beef stock. It's just reduced down until it's super sticky, super delicious. All that flavor is really concentrated. Are you adding anything to it? You're just reducing it until it's thick. Just reducing thick. it. Thick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we add a little bit of fermented green tomato in here. So, that's the chunks in here. Okay. And so for this one, really simple. We just take it and roll it up. That's beautiful. That's just a fun little bite. You know I'm going to try that. Yeah, please. Not yeah. right now, but this is what I want to do with you, because I love bringing chefs out to where it's fresh, and I know you are all about fresh. Yeah. We have spinach. We have some of the best spinach in the world. Really, the best grower in the world. We're in his field. It's let's beautiful. grab some. Yeah. You want to so, grab some? Yeah, I don't know what definitely. you can do with it. Well, I think we can make a nice salad with it, at least. OK. I like, I'm liking this. What do you think? Yeah, this looks great. This looks beautiful, this baby lettuce. Yeah. And like you said, it's already, this looks so clean, it's <laughs> like I mean, I'll eat it right go. out of here. Yeah. I mean, that's gorgeous. I feel lucky to be here. Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. That is gorgeous. Why don't we just take these herbs, you know, slice them up. We can take these lettuces. That's a chef and odd, very nicely done, right? Little quick chef and yeah. odd. Yeah. Take some of these. Okay. Now this is this is really cool. And then it's the same with the basil. Like, you know, these yes. like fresh herbs mixed in with your salad are really gonna like make these lettuces like pop, you know? And this steak is just like <laughs> butter. I mean, you can see it, it's like <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. Most people know this, but you cut against the grain, correct? That's right. Although with this Wagyu, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't? Not really. Yeah, not when it's like that, right? Not when it's like this. <gasps> so put that there. Yeah, what we else? Could, you... We could hit it with the vinaigrette. Like, why not? One of these? Yeah, let's do the little jus and it's, you know. It's a little bit warm. I'm just going to let it cool down for a second, although it might wilt the, the, yeah, the green's nice, huh? This much? Yeah. On it or over? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> And then, you know, I think, like, really, like, the best salads are just, you know, lemon and olive oil as well. Okay. You, know, take a... you and I agree on the lemon. I mean, there's no question. Yeah. A little finishing salt. A little lemon? Let's do it. Oh, it's beautiful. You get to taste that, and I want okay. to... Can I taste this one? Yes, please. This, this is great. Ready? Yes. No, you. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Can you taste the difference because it's so fresh out of the field? Most definitely. I mean, you know, the herbs are, you know, the salad's like warm from the sun. It's beautiful. Jeff, thank you. you. Cheers. Thank you so much.